party of educational opportunity. Because we know that you can't have economic security if you can't read, if you can't count. If you can't get a good job, you can't hold a good job. And we know that for, for everyone in this room, we know that the difference between where we are and where we could be is whether we got an education. I thank God that my parents believed education was the most important thing for us. And I know there have been some folks who disagreed with me about what we did on HOPE. But I'm going to tell you why we did what we did on HOPE. Because because of what we did on HOPE, 15,000 students will be able to stay in technical colleges this year. 15,000 students are going to lose that grant because they needed remedial classes. And what they counted for remedial classes, if you have been on a job, if you've been in a manufacturing job for 15 years and you get laid off because we let jobs leave, if you had to go back to a technical college, if you went to Wiregrass, you weren't going to be able to get the HOPE grant to take the algebra class because you couldn't remember what you learned 15 years ago. That's what the Republicans were planning to do. They were going to say, no, you can't have that money. Because we worked with them, we got the money back. $13.9 million a year to keep our families in technical schools. We also got our families back into the proprietary schools, DeVry, ITT Tech. I, I, my mother was a college librarian, so I grew up with a certain snobbery about school. But fundamentally, when my mom told us, because I, I called her when I was thinking about this, and she said, education is education. Whether you get it from a nonprofit or a for profit, if you have it, it's yours, and they can't take it back. 5,000 of our families are served by retired proprietary schools. And if what we did was give them an opportunity to stay in derived, stay in ITT testing, get a good job, and make a decent wage so that they can take care of their families, then it was worth it. 